Look, organisers of the Sydney Black Lives Matter protest say they don't need to self-quarantine because they followed strict distancing rules. This is despite medical professionals saying that it was incredibly risky and could contribute to a large number of new cases of COVID-19. The protest organisers did offer masks and sanitizer. Ben, should they self-isolate? Yeah, I think that they should. I, I mean, I 100% support the cause and I understand why people want to uh, join a protest like this. But the reality of this is it's a really unsafe venture. None of these people look like they were really self, um, self-distancing. self So, look, I think just like anything, uh, if, they want to go, if people want to go and protest like this, which was, you know, handled quite well, I would say, here in Australia... Um, then I think coming off the back of that, if you've been exposed to scary situations like this, then you need to go back and self-isolate. And you know what? That's what's possibly going to happen with us because of this protest. And I'm not saying this protest, again, is bad. I support that. But maybe we just need to be clever about the way in which we get our message out because uh, I'm just really worried, you know, what's going to happen from this? I think it seems like we're going to go back to uh, more restrictions. Yeah, I think that's true. Robbo, um, you can protest, you can even choose not to self-distance, but afterwards you're putting... A, there, were, there were a lot of people at these protests and now they're putting people's lives at risk because they won't self-isolate. I don't know that we would have seen these protests, uh, you know, in the, in the very depths of uh, lockdown uh, rules and regulations and things like that. We, we've obviously seen a lot of those things lifted, uh, but people are angry. People are angry about both things. People are obviously very angry about Black Lives Matter and people are still scared and angry about uh, COVID-19. Uh, th- they did say, that the Sydney organisers did say that everyone was practising self-distancing. He said he could walk from one bit to the next without bumping into anyone. I don't think he was at the vision we just saw then. That was down George Street in Sydney on the weekend. Uh, pretty close together, I would have thought. Uh, they also said that they gave out masks and sanitizers, but it's just really tough, isn't it? Like, it, mm. they're you angry, can protest and you can take. Safe. You can protest and you can take the risk that you want to take. That's not a problem. It's when you start risking other people. There's no social distancing happening here. When you then risk your family, your friends, your work colleagues, that's when the problem is everyone at those protests should be self-isolating for the next two weeks because all of a sudden it's this kind of mass gathering that could bring that second wave that we lose control of. It's the Ben, Rob and Rob, Ben, Rob and Rob, Ben.